Doesn't look very big next to my fat fingers, does it? No. Mm. Try that, sir. Are you going to blow it? Yeah, go on. made this little tapping block, these weren't the taps I was using. The shank was the same diameter all the way up. So it didn't. That, that is, 3.3 is exceptionally small, isn't it? Yeah, it's small. Uh, I'm just going to turn that drill chuck out of the way. Touchy feely just to get it going. Trying to keep it straight with the hole in the. And once you start to feel it. Yeah. It doesn't start very well, does it? No, yeah, this steel feels. I'm trying to think of the words. Not woolly, it's. Uh, it's as almost if it's like if you was trying to wind a big piece, a big drill through a piece of rubber by hand. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's snatching a bit and then it lets go and it snatches a bit and lets go. But then once you get into it a bit, I mean, you'll find out in a minute because you can tap the last one. Tap, tap. Is it? Oh, well, there you go. You okay, see, so even though there was a little wobble on that tapping block, look, that's going in dead straight. Yeah. Well done, Al. Well, within. I know I could rely on you. Tolerances of this particular workshop, anyway. <laughs> well, you'll know more about this because you started to tap that other hole, didn't you? Yeah. So when you try this tap, I'm just thinking, you know, it's done a bit more than I thought because. What the tap has. Yeah, well, you know my old Centec milling machine, the first one I had? Yeah. You know, I put that DRO on it. I tapped all that cast on, all the castings for all the DRO brackets and everything with it. Oh, with that? With this same four, little tap, because the one that came in the snap-on box, it was just shite. And I couldn't believe it. I got this one and I started tapping with it. I didn't think it was cutting. It was going that easy compared to the snap-on one. Not that I'm slagging snap-on off. Must have been a blunt snap on. No, it was a brand new tap. What, sorry? I was trying to backtrack there. <laughs> it, was a, it was a blue point one. Does that make it? Yeah, that sounds bad. Does that make Still it any better? Where's my air gun, mate? Let's just apply that. Yeah, I need a bigger shed, Robin. I no, certainly do. I'm finishing tapping you, this. You see what that feels like compared to that other tap. Well, yeah. the minute it's going well. It will. <laughs> <laughs> you got the volume turned down, are you right, bud? Uh, it there won't be any volume on it. Oh, fine, if you don't turn it down, you just get a whistling noise. Alright, it doesn't seem to come through on the camera. The volume just records on the card, I think. Yeah, that's going dead easy though, Al. I was getting so much twist on my tap. It was just done that much work, I think it was. It looked very blunt and it felt very blunt. I can't really, if I'm honest, unless it's a really blunt tap, if I pick it up and just touch it with my fingers, I can't really differentiate between sort of really blunt and a bit blunt. It's only when I start to tap with it. Well, that's the difference between me and you, Al. I'm small and delicate to the touch. So am I. You're large and clumsy. I'm just a big hammer. <laughs> I don't need to hit it many times for it to see. Right, we're done. So all the screws are in there. 
All of them? We shall have to have a... All of them? Yeah, we'll have to have a little video of this uh, wagging some clay. We will, it? yeah, tomorrow. I want to lighten this, this bit as well, so I'm going to lighten it tomorrow when I get it back home. I'll drill some holes in it and just lighten it, so I'll do a little video of that, and then uh, we're done. Tag it on the end. You can put that back on if you've got some paper towel. This is like that advert, one sheet is plenty. Hey! <laughs> you only get one. I'll lock tight it tomorrow. Available. Yeah, but not with a, a blonde Aggie Eppler or whatever it is. And it's double like that anymore. I've got to send Danny a message, ever. Come and get this milk for you. Yeah, this could be the last job you're doing on this mill. Actually, with these measurements, Rob, it's up here. But that's the top bit about there. Sounds about right. So he's got to now try and get a 7 foot 6 mil. Yeah, seven he's got a screwdriver. The one on there, isn't it? An old fashioned one. What, Phillips? No, there's no Phillips in these. This is this is a, an acorn trap. Well, there's an 8 mil spanner on there. Oh, you mean a flat ended? Yeah. You can't believe it in this day and age people are putting flat ended screws in, can you? Where are you going for it, Scumpole? He has to go in the house and get a spanner. Because <laughs> his shed's not big enough to go with all his tools. Oh, no, it's dude. not that. I don't want to go rusty in the, in the shed. Let me have that tap and I'll put them away while I'm throwing them on the floor. Uh, I best send uh, Mr. A Bob a message and tell him I've got a Greenfield tap because he loves Greenfield. Yeah, he's mad on it. It's good stuff actually. I'll uh, lock tight all these in tomorrow when we get it back and have lightened that piece of steel. But that can be done tomorrow. Trap, a complete trap, and I have two of them. Neither of them have got a posy in sight, so I've, 
I probably changed these for some reason. Those may be made of cheese, and but they're all going to need Loctite in back in anyway. That's, uh, they'll end up flying Remember out. Remember when I did that video cutting them gears? Yeah. And I said then into that I couldn't believe that with that dividing head of mine. That all right, I mean it's not a, a high-end item, but it's very well finished off and everything, and really nicely ground. And they put the worst bloody screws in the world in it. It just doesn't make sense why somebody would do that. I don't know why they do it. But why, you, you, in this day and age, you'd use flathead screws, I've no idea. I took all the carriage off this afternoon on the trap to um, alter the chain tension because it had got tight. And uh, they're all flatheaded screws. So you know what that's like with electric screwdriver? It drives you mad. And I had to take the complete carriage top off to uh, just to check tighten the slacken off the chain tension so it would it would tighten the chain. It's not the best med thing in the world. Not that I've got anything against Suffolk engineers. Everything in Suffolk made in shed, Yep. Right, there we go. Ready to rock and roll. So tomorrow we'll lighten that, make it a little bit lighter. Make a big difference, you think? It's fairly weighty. It will, so yeah. What was on it originally? What was the, other, the original part like? It's exactly the same as that, but made out of alloy. But because oh, it was right. badly made, it was broke off here, oh. and then it was causing this to move backwards and forwards. So you didn't have a bit of alloy to make another one. Like no, you I did couldn't. Do it out of steel on no, I couldn't find the alloy. Don't know why, but might be a good upgrade. Well, we'll soon find out. But I'm going to lighten it a little bit. So there we go. Right. That's a cup of tea time in Al's shed.